We are back in Manchester to see what all our favourite luxury stores have in stock for us. Welcome to today's video. We are back in Manchester to do some luxury shopping and see what our favourite luxury brands have in stock for us. Forgive me, I am looking a little bit windswept because the weather is quite nice here for the first time I've been to Manchester. It's not actually raining right now. Um, the sun is starting to come out but it's still a little bit cloudy. Um, I just thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing today. So I have on, I will link everything that I can do in the description down below and other stories like long black coat, which I love. It does tie around the waist, but I've just tied it at the back because I'm getting quite warm right now. So I've just left it open. I have some Zara high waist trousers. These are in like a plum color. My Adidas trainers just, and a high neck or roll neck black jumper again from, I think this one's from weekday actually. So yeah, I'm pop links down below. If you enjoyed this style of video, please do let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe for more. The bags that I would most like to see today would be the ellipse bag from Bulgari and also the cabochon bag from Bulgari. Um, I keep looking at them online and I cannot decide which one is my favourite so I definitely think I need to try them on. With no further ado we are in Harvey Nichols right now. This is my favourite mirror to film in because it's just so bright here and we can see some of Manchester in the background. Now let's go and see what is in stock for us. Okay here we are Harvey Nichols first as usual, not raining still and Selfridges over here we still have the yayoi kusama in the window here assuming for the second drop some coach bags out here it's like a wallet on chain i'm not sure the name of this bag here but we've got the c and then a lock it's quite cute quite like this we have some kind of these remind me of like the gucci moon bag got it in a few colors here oh and here is the like pillow style bag and then over here we have Marc Jacobs again here is my little shearling one this is the uh, medium size and this is in like a kind of like a faux croc but not that's quite cool we have a cotton canvas here we have the mini in the red green no nothing like majorly different here I'm not sure if this bag's new I don't think I've seen this one before but here we have the micro in the Marc Jacobs print which yeah I haven't seen this one before I've seen it online but I've never seen it in person before when these this size originally came out it only came out in the shearling oh I like the strap how fun is that strap there oh, I like this in the white I think it's coming out cream on the camera but it is white which is lovely we've got the black here and these like camera bags with the I want to say logo on the front but I'm not too sure I like this pink and gold again this is not picking up on camera very well like the colors oh and we have a black on black that's nice with like Marc Jacobs on the top oh and they've got the organza ones back in again so they've got the blue one here and they have the like pink and yellow these are honestly just perfect for summer holidays. I would really like the black one, so it's a shame they've not got one here. And they have the painted micros. Uh, let's head upstairs now to the women's ready to wear. Saint Laurent. We have lots of shoes here, got like a loafer. Got them in white. Some sandals. Oh, these are nice. I like these, they aren't too heavy either and they just have like the twist knot on the front. We have some trainers as well, oh, I like these. They have Saint Laurent on the side, very very nice there. We have the boots, although it's now coming up to spring summer here in the UK so I definitely think these are probably more appropriate. These are gorgeous, these are in like a brown and we have some espadrilles as well. These feel really nice and soft, they're not too heavy which is definitely a must. And they've also got them in the dark blue color here. We have the Cassandra shoe with all the different colors on. I have heard that these aren't the most comfortable shoes, but I do think they are some of the best looking designer shoes. Like they are just gorgeous, aren't they? We have some more here. Oh, 
I like this gold dress. Oh my gosh. Look at these shoes with the like glitter on. And this one has like buckles, like diamante buckles on the front. That is gorgeous. This dress and yeah, some ready to wear pieces. Alexander McQueen. I'm obsessed with Alexander McQueen at the minute. And just the designs, I'm following the uh, Alexander McQueen Instagram account and it is just so incredible. Like the ready to wear, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. What do we have here? We have like a pink blazer. I feel like this is gonna rival Balmain. The trousers, I have my bright pink trousers, but look at these in this like baby pink. Do we need another pair of trousers? These are very long. I would definitely have to be wearing heels. But, oh my gosh, the cut of McQueen trousers, amazing. This dress as well with the watercolor kind of print on. 1,690 pound. That is stunning. And we have some bags over here. We have the Hobo Jeweled. This is the mini size with silver hardware couple down here I like this one with a top handle because I love a good top handle bag and we have some of the mirror finish ones up here which I actually tried on the mirror hobo bag so this bag here in my last London vlog and these are the jeweled satchel and like a clutch as well so they are very cool and a few more here oh I love this green and gold and we've got like a caramel I really like this tote look at the detail of the handle awesome valentino still i haven't fallen in love with a bag enough to purchase one from valentino but this crystal pink one look at this like we are in our barbie era right now with the film coming out in july maybe this bag is a must like even the hardware is just the most beautiful pink color some more from valentino yeah, this bucket bag's cute i've not seen this before check this out how much is this take a look do we have a price one two ninety for that one big clutch bag Got like a shoulder bag here as well i feel like this is a very in style right now where the straps double round and it can be cross-bodied as well one's got silver hardware it feels like really nice leather and then coming around here we have some of the Roman handle. I like this purple. I think this looks really nice with the gold hardware. We have these two flat bags. I like this one. It's probably one of my favorites actually with the studs on in the same color as the actual bag. And one with little tiny studs. Some bags from Jackie Moose. Again, still not a big fan of these, but got a fluffy one here with like a braided, almost like a chain handle. That's cool. And we have like the mini one. How cute is this? And we have some purples as well. Can we just check out all of these incredible dresses? And this one here, this is the brand, this pink. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It is so gorgeous. I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up, but let me just show you in the mirror here. Like I would definitely need heels on it. Has a split up the side. Can we see the split here? And just this color. I might need to try this on. We'll also have a quick look at Self Portrait, another one of my favorite brands. And they have some beautiful pieces in right now. What is this? Is this like a little dress? Oh, look at the way this sparkles. Again, I will link to Self Portrait down below so that you can shop the latest range. This yellow with silver or oh, this little slip dress and come back a little bit. It's gorgeous. We have some pinks. Oh, wow. Again, Barbie era, guys. Barbie era. This is the skirt that we need. It feels like such great quality fabric as well. Like it feels really soft, but quite thick. How much is this? Do we have a price? Oh, so Harvey Nix. This is currently £260. A self-portrait skirt there. Oh, I'm in love. Also comes in like a lime green as well. Has little crystals. Oh, here they have the Acne Studios. I saw this in London and I actually really liked it. It is a tote bag with a top handle and it also has a longer shoulder strap. So here we go. This is it. With the ties on the side. 
think this is lovely like the leather is beautiful this is 1050 pounds again at harvey nichols here and i think it might be even better in this large size just because the leather looks gorgeous like look at the way the light reflects on it okay stella mccartney uh, let's take a look we have a new crystal bag look at this this is black and silver an absolute staple with silver hardware this is gorgeous oh my gosh let's see if we can see how much this is 825 pounds so a lot cheaper than similar prada alternatives for example but still this is such an attention grabber it is so gorgeous we have the falabella bags in the different sizes oh look at you you are adorable and then the larger size i think this is the small and this is the mini we have some over here we have more glitter oh my gosh this pink this pink did they know the barbie movie was coming out honestly are we obsessed i think we might be it has silver hardware which actually i think looks quite nice because it's quite a cool tone of pink we have a lilac silver we have i've seen this one before and it's still stunning it's like a lime green and we have the shoulder bag here and we have a purple sequin this is awesome i love this all of them have silver hardware though it'd be nice to see more with gold hardware i did actually just spot this bag which i've not seen before from stella mccartney so we have this shoulder bag here which has a big big chunky chain on and then here i'm just going to lay that down for a second i will put it back up this i think this is just like a bigger version of it but I like the stitching line it has down the center of it. It just makes the bag look a little bit more structured, even though it is a hobo style bag. So here it is. I just love the two-tone hardware on the Stella McCartney bags as well. So this is vegan friendly. I love this. Now you can wear it as a shoulder bag. I am wearing a coat, so it's probably too thick because I've got a few layers on as well to actually wear this comfortably right now as a shoulder bag. I'd have to take my coat off. But I actually think this is quite nice on the crook of your arm and it's not too heavy. What do we think? Let me know in the comments. This is probably one of my favourite Stella McCartney bags that I've seen in a while. We are definitely going to have to take another quick look at some more footwear. So here we have Mac and Mac. We have these new Love Heart sandals. I haven't seen these before. And look, they have like a heart on the heel. Can we see these? How cute is this? The ones with the bows and the crystals going up the ankle. We've got one in silver and pink here. And we've got the like platform ones as well. I don't think personally I would attempt to walk in these. We've also got some footwear from Chloe, which is one of my favorite brands. I do already have some of the Chloe Woody sandals. These are in, I like the like stitch in detail on the edge of these. We have them in black. We have, oh, I like these, these gorgeous trainers. And they have like a scalloped edge going round that's cool and they're all leather they've got chloe going up the back how much are these these are 450 pounds here in the uk this is the lauren sneaker i will link it down below it comes in three colors nude white and black oh and we also have this canvas version with the chloe on the side i think i prefer the um all leather actually just because they're a little bit more low-key we have these boots not so sure about these. I guess these are kind of like Wellington meets boots. We have some lace trainers and we also have more of the Chloe Woody sandal. I've not seen this green color before. Let's see if we can pick that up in real life. That looks gorgeous, like a lime green, pink and also denim. I have been looking all over for Zimmerman and it now has its very own almost section here in the corner of Harvey Nicks. This is on the first floor of Harvey Nicks in Manchester. Oh, look at these prints. Zimmerman, honestly, for spring, summer, one of my favorite brands. Like, I just recently got a beautiful yellow dress, which is here. This is my dress. Did you watch my unboxing? If you didn't, make sure you check it out. Um, I have been eyeing this dress up for the longest time. It's not usually my style but I just loved it. Like this is such a beautiful bright yellow that I really wanted to wear this for my birthday, I'm making some birthday plans. And I just felt like this would be the most perfect dress. It's really nice with the puffy sleeves here. I can imagine this on a beach in the evening. And then we have a few more pieces over here as well, just to show you the prints. I know Zimmerman's a really popular 
popular brand wow these shorts these shorts stop dress oh i also have the silk wrap dress mine's in a bright orange which i love such a really nice fabric and look at all these oh such a delicate print so beautiful i'm gonna have to tr like quickly not try these on properly but i'm gonna show you because i'm obsessed with like high-waisted trousers and high-waisted shorts now these definitely haven't been put back on the hanger very well but how cute will these look with like a white t-shirt in summer some white trainers or some sandals <gasps> these are definitely on my radar now here's one of the silk wrap dresses on one of the mannequins as well this is in like a baby blue and this is the Zimmerman print here, the shorts that I've just tried on. Oh, look, like this, the tie waist, I didn't even realise, it's like a scarf. Oh, how cute is this? I definitely think I would pair these because they are quite a bright print with a plain top. It's in the food section now and I've never been here. This is on the top floor and they have lots of gorgeous like, sauces, chocolates for Easter, nuts and check out the view of beautiful Manchester. I love seeing all the rooftops. This is so gorgeous. Now we definitely need to head for some food and we are going to Australasia, which is a restaurant I've been to once before, but I've definitely always wanted to come back. So I'm very excited. And I really love the entrance, which is basically just this glass doorway here in the middle of this kind of big area. Let's go and get some food. How beautiful the decor is. These bamboo lights, tables, just looks so light and airy. To say this is like underground, you can see the light up there. So this is the bar area. And once I've had a drink in here and my family member has shown back up, I am going to order some food. But yeah, I just thought I would show you this. And I have ordered a watermelon lemonade and it is honestly one of the best drinks I think I have ever had. It is that nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Crossing the road now then, let's head into Selfridges. Let's head into Dior and then we're going to check out Louis Vuitton over here and then head to Gucci and Prada. If you are a lover of Paris, this could be a bag for you. This is a saddle bag. This is the normal size. The only thing I find frustrating about this bag is the top handle. You kind of have to push it down. You can't take it off, which I think is a real shame. Then we have some footwear these are pretty cool so this is like a lace print but the lace is actually made out of like a rubber so it isn't lace it feels quite cool to the touch and here we have the paris print again on this book tote bag and this djoy in painted black what do we think to the paris print i think it's quite cool okay so in the window at dior because we can't really film too much inside um it's quite quiet inside the store today we have the lady dior's in white and red the saddle we have the saddle bag in white here with gold i think that's a nice combination we can't see the front of it obviously we've got the book tote bag this is in all leather oh we have the matte black lady dior this is nice i love this and we have the floral book tote which we saw in london as well as this bag here. I'm not sure the name of it. It reminds me of the Caro. And this one here. Look at these. Like, isn't this raffia just perfect for summertime? But I think the black for me is definitely the more classic piece. And I really like this as well. This is like an off white colour with the gold. Which colour would you go for? Let me know. And we also have the Lady Dior here in raffia as well. As well as the floral print and this back here with like a cool top handle but well, i'm not so sure about the shape of that one louis vuitton now let's see what they have in store we have some capucines in the window here so this is the yayoi kusama this is the bb size so it has the flowers on and the butterfly and we have the scarlet red here we have the mini in the blue with the flowers that's quite nice and then we have the black and also the red with spots on there how cute are these slides for spring summer? I really like these. We've got gold, teal, and then we've got the canvas version. And here we have the like flip flop kind of style, but like meets the pillow trend. We have them in black and orange as well. They actually look quite comfortable. 
And these look like great for around the pool, but I'm not so sure about the detail on the sole. Some bags, some ready to wear here. And wow, this mini cap you've seen is a very limited edition. They told me they only had two available in the UK. It retailed at £4,950 and it was such a showstopper. I was really tempted. Now let's take a look at some new Gucci. I love this simple Gucci tote down here. I think this is a nice alternative to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. We have some Gucci shoulder bags. Oh, here we go. This is the tote, but in like all leather. Sorry about the reflection on the screen. That is a gorgeous green. And we also have it in this. So it has two straps. It has a smaller strap and a longer strap. And I like this neutral colorway. Oh, I like this top handle bag here. It's very nice with the Gucci strap on. And this is the relatively new floral print that features on a few of the new Gucci bags. So we have the bucket bag, this pouch bag, and also this like mini shoulder bag here. I quite like it, but I don't think it's the best floral print I've ever seen. Okay, now let's take a look inside. This is like the new Gucci Soho Disco. It's in a white. I'd say the fabric is really quite thick. I love the stitching and the logo on the front. They also have this top handle version. But just to show you, we've got this in red, brown, and we've also got it in black here. So this is the top handle version. I like the little locks on it. It's very cute. What do we think to this? So like the updated Gucci Soho disco bag, which was so popular. And then we've got lots of colour from Gucci. This camera bag in green, this like fuchsia. We have orange. This is nice. This is the Aphrodite bag, but this is the larger size and this is the smaller size. I prefer the smaller size because it has the zipper across the top. I love it in this bright orange with the gold hardware. It's a smaller version. This gorgeous green with the stitching. And over here we have the Diana range. So this is one of the most beautiful greens. It's like a really bright emerald. And this is like a mint green here. This looks really nice with the bamboo handle. Is that? I really like the navy strap on this. Okay, now let's head into Prada. I can see some crystals and we have some of the tote bags here. Check it out. So I had to try on this Prada phone bag because it was so cute. It has a detachable like top handle here and it also has a detachable longer strap so you can decide which way you want to wear it. You can also fully adjust the long strap as well. What do we think? Check out these summer bags guys. This is the one I've fallen in love with though. This low AV like wicker style tote bag. It has brown leather detail on here. Let's see how much it is. We have the logo on the front. The price is missing, but again, I will link it down below. This is absolutely gorgeous. Some gorgeous pieces from Mulberry. I love the bright yellow, but no major changes here. I quite like this satchel bag that goes over the shoulder. The Anthony bag, they have lots down here. Oh, and check out all these gorgeous bright colors. Now let's check out Mulberry. Oh, look at this top handle bag in this like gold, leather that is gorgeous and here's the cabochon in the gray leather with gold hardware here we go guys i have found the cabochon and this is in a gorgeous gray color oh my gosh it has mother of pearl scales and this very much reminds me of the chanel 19 bag but this feels like more of a piece of jewelry i don't know if the camera's picking up like the true color here but look how gorgeous this is I really like, I actually quite like the fit strap and you can adjust it as well, there's lots of holes here. What do we think? I definitely think I need to add one to my collection soon. So this is the mini and this is in a white, look at this, the scales on the front with the gold hardware and then the grey. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should go for because I was, I do love this, and then I tried this one on. This does fit a normal size iPhone, I've just tried it, so. And some more gorgeous bags from Bulgari here. You 
use the Penti clutch. It's nice. We have this like baby pink color. We have some of the crystals still, which are like an ombre effect, which is like pink and gray. And then we have like the all gray one here. It's pink with the gold, it's gorgeous. Oh, and here's the mini ellipse. This is the gold version of the bag. And this one has, I think it's black onyx on the snake head. How beautiful is that one? And this one here with the metal detail around the edges. It just makes it look even more edgy. And I believe this is the new berry color. Look at this with like the champagne gold hardware. Gold and then the black on black. And here is the gray crystal one from the front here and the new shoulder bag, the Bayer bag, I believe this is. I like the detail of the straps and the snake head again. Gorgeous. Okay guys, we aren't gonna try and film in Chanel because we always get told off in here, but we can take a quick look through the window. We have a trendy bag here with Chanel on the top. We have a black one. What else do we have? The trendy, but with the normal metal across the top. I think I prefer this one. It's beautiful. Oh, we have some heart bags. Check these out in like a black painting and a white leather. Those are gorgeous. And what do we have on display? We have like a tweed bag and some mini bags. We have some pearl jewelry. It's beautiful. And we have some of the Chanel 22. You can see a pink one here. And they also have like the mint green color over here. You can see some like little top handle bags, classic black and white. A few from Chloe as well, the test bag. I really like this. I don't know why it's not more popular with this jewelry on the front. We have the Chloe Woody tote. This comes in so many leathers and color options now. I'm losing track, honestly, I am. And what do we have? We have the mini leather versions, I love these. Oh, this is cool. Very bright, it's like an orange with a, I think this is brown leather. We have the all, this is Caramello. This is the color I have, but I have the smaller size tote bag. And then we have the wicker bags here with the different color leathers on. They are lovely. I love this lilac. Doesn't that work well with the wicker? And then we have the larger wicker and the mini bucket bag here. And some more from Loeva here because this is a bag I have been looking at online. And it is this one with the like laser cut out. So this is like leather laser cut out with like a cotton insert inside. How gorgeous is this? I just love this. I think it's really different. I think it's quite low key, but if you know Loewe, then you know. We have like the mini puzzle bag. Oh, that's cute. The hammock bag here. I think this is like the nugget bag, but it kind of, it's quite cool. It's got a zip there, look, and it folds in and you hold it with the two handles there. We have a larger size puzzle bag here. I like the colors of this. It's like a cream. And this Hessian style bag, it's got Loewe on the front here. I definitely think I prefer this here. I love that Selfridges do this as well. This is like the re-Selfridges section, Project Earth, and they have vintage pieces in here for sale. So this Chanel bag here, this is £1,550 and this is such a vintage piece. Like this is very iconic. I can really remember these bags coming out and everyone wanting one. £1,300. That is gorgeous. All leather Chanel tote bag here, guys. What else do we have? Lots of Chanel. Oh my gosh, this backpack. It has like a perspex section. 4,680 and this mirror Chanel. Oh, how gorgeous. We have some denim. Oh wait, we need to check this out. Look at this baby. This is very similar to the Capucine bag we've just seen from Louis Vuitton. Uh, 5,760 pounds. That is absolutely stunning. It's silver and gold sequins. What do we think? Classic piece. And we also have one of the very sought after vintage classic flaps here, like the jumbo with the big logo on. We also have some Dior here. So we have the Dior saddle, vintage, 2,460 pounds. And we have like a crossbody bag here. Oh, this is cool. I don't know the name of this one. Saddle crossbody is called on the tag, 2,700 pounds. 
Yeah, I really love this section. It's really great if you are into your vintage shopping and it's really nice to see them all in a really a modern contemporary store. So that is it for today's shopping vlog. The bag that has taken me by surprise is the sequin capucine bag. I think it was £4,950, so quite the investment, but as we know, the capucine bags are seen as like the pinnacle from Louis Vuitton. So I feel like for a really special piece, especially the sequins, I was expecting it for some reason to be even more than what it was. What do we think? Do we need it? It is such a special piece. Another piece that I really liked was actually the Prada phone case. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of a phone case. I don't have one and there are times when I don't really want to carry a whole lot with me, just my phone and some cards for example, that I can definitely see a phone holder in my life very soon. Let me know in the comments what you have liked the look of and if you aren't already make sure you're subscribed for more. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here we are going luxury shopping in London. There is so much eye candy, even more in this video. Enjoy.